this is part part of what has made my company and myself successful. This was this is what exactly the mindset that we show our clientele as well. You know, stay in your own lane. Focus on just building your business. Get anyone who is negative away from you. When it comes to you, you have to protect your environment. Hey guys, this is Paul Alex, founder of ATMtogether.com, and welcome to this weekly live. We're going to go ahead and get started with the three lessons for this week. We're going to be talking about ATM basics in 2024. We're also going to be talking about the three rookie mistakes to stay away from guys in 2024 as well. This comes from a lot of experience, guys. This is something that I've gone through in the past seven years. And then also, we're going to be talking about how you guys can go ahead and actually start your own ATM together if you guys like. Yeah, you're probably like, ATM together? What do you mean? Well, guys, I've been uh, messaging back and forth with dozens. I, I believe it's even in the hundreds now of people that always inspire to go ahead and start their own online business, right? And I think that's phenomenal, right? Becoming a digital nomad, being able to work from anywhere in the world. Um, but essentially, uh, anyone who starts an online business, right? You need to have some experience on whatever you are selling online. That is part of it. So um, what I tell folks is if you wanted to create an online business based on your ATM venture, you need some social proof. You need some paper trail. You need some transaction history. But it can be done. It can be done actually pretty fast uh, within a year, within two years, depending on how fast you guys work, right? So um, I'm going to be getting into that. I'm going to be talking about that and how you guys can potentially go ahead about that and execute whether you want a side hustle, a uh, digital source of income, or you guys want to build an empire. It can be done. It just depends on how much work you want to put into this and how much money and time you are willing to invest, right? You have to go all in if you want to build an empire. And that's what I tell everybody in every type of niche, any type of business, guys. And this is coming from a uh, nine to fiber where essentially I always say this, I've lived three lives. I was in corporate America from age 21 to 26. Uh, from 26 to 32, I was in law enforcement. Um, five out of the seven years, I was a detective, guys. Um, and then you can see the, the five o'clock shadow right there. <laughs> and then from there, I was a full-time entrepreneur. I'm currently a full-time entrepreneur, guys, for about the um, – it's about to be four years now. I'm about to be 36 next month, guys, in a few weeks. Oh, my God. Time flies when you're having fun, for sure. Um, but, yeah, guys. So I've been able to become a full-time entrepreneur, but it all started with one simple business, which is ATMs. I started with my first ATM, um, thought it was a really good idea, went to six ATMs, um, uh, stepped on my foot a little bit. My first initial ATMs didn't do that great, but I, uh, I'm a very optimistic guy. I'm a, I'm a true believer in believing in yourself and the capabilities of what you are able to do as an entrepreneur and as a person. And I stuck with it, guys. I actually hired a mentor that I met online, and uh, I was able to actually grow my business to three thousand dollars in monthly passive income. Okay, and that's I'm proud of that. The reason why I say I'm proud of that is because there's a difference between active and passive income. Active income, you're only making the income as you are working, the amount of time that you are investing to go ahead and actually uh, make that income. And then passive income is essentially you're making your money work for you. So I was making my money work for me, guys. And during this time, I was in law enforcement. I was a detective. I was making close to $250,000 a year. And you're probably wondering, like, Paul, well, if you're already making that much as a cop, like, why, why start your ATM business? Well, guys, this is one thing that I always tell everybody. Never settle. Never settle, guys. Um, you always want multiple streams of income, but you also want to plan for the future. And, you know, as you get older during that time, I was in my late twenties and I completely changed my mindset of the type of person that I was. Okay. And this is actually going to go right into our first lesson, ATM basics. Okay, guys. So the first lesson, the first pillar that I actually want to talk about, about ATM basics for rookies in 2024 is about planning. Planning is key, guys. Go ahead and comment planning. That's going to be P-L-A-N-N-I-N-G. Go ahead and comment planning down in the comments below, guys. I'm going to go ahead and shoot you some free PDFs, uh, free guide, so you guys can go ahead and start planning 
what you have to do starting in January of 2024. Okay, so to continue the story, um, late 20s uh, was making a quarter of a mil, but here's the thing, guys. I was, majority of my income was active income. So meaning that unless I worked, I wasn't gonna make any money. So I was putting in about roughly 80 to 100 hours a week, guys. Yeah, I'm, I wish I was kidding. I'm not. Uh, I worked a tremendous amount of overtime, which actually most first responders do. And what I can tell you from that, it is not healthy whatsoever, guys. I, I looked double my age. I mean, oh man, I had so many gray hairs from just the amount of stress. Um, I was barely getting any sleep. Um, man, my health was just going down. I wasn't getting the, the actual, uh, physical exercise that I always, um, would usually do. Um, and then I was missing out on a lot of time with my family and family's everything for me, guys, as you guys know, my why is everything, you know, this, uh, if you've been following me for the past, even day, I always talk about my family. That's what my social media is about, right? Um, either family and business. So with that guys, I, uh, I saw the writing on the wall. I was like, this is not sustainable. I'm not going to be able to go ahead and actually stay in law enforcement for 27 plus years, uh, especially in my late twenties, especially everything that I've gone through. Um, I worked in one of the most dangerous cities in the United States. So I've seen a lot. Um, so I have quite a bit of experience and that's why I was able to promote so quickly into a detective. Uh, everybody always asks me like, how were you able to, you know, uh, transition from just a regular beat cop to investigations and then do all this really cool stuff like narcotics and SV, SVU and all that stuff, different units, right? And the number one thing that I told them is that not everybody is going to be at the same level, right? I came in with a lot of life experience. I was already a district manager for a large corporate uh, corporation, sales company, sales organization. Um, I worked humble beginnings as a glorified dish machine a repairman with inside sales got promoted to a territory sales manager, and then finally got promoted to a district sales manager where I had my own team. So I came in there with that customer service aspect of soft skills, learning how to communicate. And that's why when I went into law enforcement, law enforcement is all number one, communication. Number two, it's communi uh, not only communication, but it's also customer service. So whenever I would talk to anybody, I'd give them respect, no matter who they were, even if they were going to jail or not. You, they were going to get respect from me no matter what. And that was my job to stay neutral, guys. But with that being said, I saw the writing on the wall. I was just like, this is not sustainable for me. And I started planning what I needed to do in order to exit out of that career and just nine to five in general. So I started investing into simple businesses. ATMs was my initial one. Uh, by my third month, I was able to make $3,000 a month from these machines. And I was just like, this is remarkable. So now uh, that's what broke my limiting beliefs because initially I didn't think it was going to work. Uh, like most people, uh, they want to see a large amount of money coming in at one time uh, in the very beginning. They think, oh, well, <clears throat> you know, this is, this is going to be it. And they invest one time and they think they're going to hit gold, right? Well, he, he, here's the thing. And here's the reality of things, right? It takes time to build anything sustainable and anything good. And I always tell people this, um, especially because in the online space, a lot of people make it seem like you're going to get rich quick, which is not the truth, guys. Um, that's why if you ever see any type of marketing that we do, if you ever see anything whatsoever that we do here at ATM together, we always say that this is a great way to build a sustainable business and to also make some residual income. Um, we, we never guarantee like you're going to be instantly rich. We never guarantee that um, it's instantly going to be for you because at the end of the day, everyone's different. And this might not be the right fit for everybody, but it is a great way to make residual income and also make your money work for you. And that's what worked for me. You know, I, like I said, I worked two remarkable careers. Um, I invested into a very simple business that I could learn very quickly. And um, I was able to scale it to 30 ATMs, which then made, made me financially free. I was able to make uh, anywhere between 10 to 15 grand a month. And that depend on how busy the businesses were. So <clears throat> from the residual income that I made, guys, I was able to go ahead and stop working overtime. 
uh, I was able to reduce my workload from 80 to 100 hours to 40 hours. So I just bought back my time with residual income, with passive income. And uh, that reduced my active income. So then to me, I'm like, okay, now that I have this sustainable business, I have two employees, I have a, a maintenance guy, and I also have a family member that goes and fills my ATM because you have to be very careful with who fills your ATMs. Okay. You have to do your due diligence. And this goes into the second pillar I'm going to talk about due diligence. Okay. You have to do your research guys. You have to know exactly what you're investing into. This is a business. This is not gambling. This is not, um, well, let's see if it's going to work. No guys, like you want to really do your research. Okay. And I always say this. So do your research. Um, but then once you do your research, we're going to go into the third pillar pretty soon, which is execution. Okay. I always say imperfect action. You have to do imperfect action guys, because, um, there's such thing that actually destroys dreams out there. And that one thing is called analysis paralysis. Okay. Once again, it's called analysis paralysis, guys, and it destroys millions and millions of dreams out there. A lot of people don't know it, but that, it, it truly does because we will research, and we will research, and we will research, and then we'll get in our own head and we'll talk ourselves out of it. And that's what sucks, right? Um, essentially, how many of you guys have had a great idea before? How many of you guys have thought about investing in stocks or investing into a company or investing into your vision or your dream before uh, just to have someone else that doesn't see your vision talk you down, talk you out of it, or you talk yourself out of it, and then you're kicking yourself in the butt either a few months or a few years later saying, damn, I should have done it. I have. Okay. So <clears throat> I always tell people, you know, like if, if you truly believe in your vis vision and you truly believe in the plan that you made out as a person and you're already semi-successful or decently successful in whatever you do, right? Um, then more than likely it's going to be a good idea. Just go with your gut feeling and just do it in perfect action. Okay. So from that guys, um, I decided to go ahead and actually share my expertise online after not being on social media for eight years. And I decided to go ahead and actually create this wonderful program, which actually had to be refined hundreds of times. And uh, I decided to create a, a company called ATM together. Now with over 3000 clients, three years later, um, we're one of the largest ATM providers online. We're also one of the largest ATM Facebook groups for a reason, okay? Because we are very beginner friendly. We do not go ahead and bash anyone in this group. We actually want to help you out. So if you guys have any questions, go ahead and drop it down in the comments below. If you guys have anything to share, drop it on the post down in the group, guys. And we're going to interact with you. We're going to try to help you to the best of our abilities. And that's my promise, okay? So uh, to continue, guys, uh, execution is everything. And when you execute, you want to go ahead and actually talk to other people that are already inside the business or get more information. Just because you guys talk to companies doesn't mean that you owe them anything. I always tell people this. If I was a rookie, I would get minimum three bids from three different companies that I'm thinking of actually working with. And this is full transparency, guys. You don't see me coming here bashing anyone else. You don't see me ever talking bad about anyone as much as I hear through the grapevine, you know, uh, things that, you know, people shouldn't say online or things that they shouldn't be doing or things that, you know, uh, or some companies that overpromise and realistically they're a solopreneur and they don't have the, the staff to actually support what they say they do. You know, I, I stay in my own lane. I stay in my own lane. And this is this is part part of what has made my company and myself successful, guys. This was this is what exactly the mindset that we show our clientele as well. We tell our clientele, stay in your own lane, focus on just building your business. Get anyone who is negative away from you. Okay. If they're family, I understand. I've been in that situation multiple times. You can love it from afar. Okay. But when it comes to you, you have have to protect your environment. Go ahead and comment environment down in the comments below, guys. Okay. Comment environment because this is big. It you have to be able to go ahead and be able to focus on what you need to focus to grow. And you need a good environment. You need positive vibes and you need to be optimistic in order for this to happen. So 
we talked about three pillars right now. You have to plan it, okay? So you have to really think. Come up with a game plan, guys. Get a planner. This is what I just told my employees during our daily meeting today. I jumped in. Usually I have my operators that man our operations, but I jumped in, guys. And I was just like, you know what, guys? Make the investment if you guys don't have a plan already especially going into 2024, write down your goals every single month. Go ahead and execute on those, guys. I may not use a paper and pen every day, but I do use my notes on my iPhone, guys. If you guys look at my to-do list, I have different lists. I have seven to eight different lists that I execute on on a weekly or daily basis, okay? And I track all that. So plan it. Number two, due diligence. Meaning, do your research. Make sure you get three bids. Make sure you look around. See who you want to be with, okay? Because at the end of the day, there's so many different options out there. I'm not saying that we're the only people in, <laughs> I don't know what that background comes out, but I'm not saying we're the only people in the industry, but I am going to tell you that we do provide the best quality service out there, and we are here to help, okay? And then number two, execution. Execution's huge, okay? So once you have done uh, the planning and your due diligence execute right away and then number four guys okay and this is coming from someone who was a rookie who started this from the very beginning by himself didn't know anything just reached out and became a suit of the game you have to train yourself and you have to obtain skills and in order to do that you need to know where to find those skills if you're going to go ahead and do business with a company okay that already has results just let's say for example like atm together well there's a reason why a lot of clients actually come to us the reason why is because we actually go ahead and provide that value we provide that information that they need at that moment okay you're getting a high level support system when it comes to doing business with us that's the biggest difference when it comes to this okay high level support system key takeaway here okay the second thing you need to do is you need to learn a skill. Now, if you're already coming into this business with a lot of, let's say, life experience, that's good. That's awesome. You're already ahead of the game. If you're not, if let's say you're an introvert, like I used to be, okay, I would recommend learning soft skills, learning how to talk to folks, because the more people you talk, the more people you touch, the more people are going to do business with you. And guess what? Ultimately, you're going to get paid. So, this is super important. In business, you need to talk to folks. That's number one. Now, I understand if you don't want to talk to people and you just want to make your money work for you, then we can also help you out with that. That's what we do as well. Okay. But that's your four pillars, guys, with the ATM basics. I hope you guys got a lot of value out of this. And we're just going to jump into the second lesson. But before we do, go ahead and comment skills. Comment the skills down in the comment below, guys. We are going to provide you with the latest mini course that we just built. Uh, my COO, Getem, actually created this a few weeks ago during the holidays. And we are excited to give you first time access to this. So go ahead and comment skills. So it's going to be S-K-I-L-L-S, skills down in the comments below. And I'll give you guys a minute in order for you guys to do that. Blow up the comments, guys, because it helps us with the algorithm, please, okay? All right, guys, this is awesome. I love the engagement that you guys are giving me. You guys are rock stars. Okay, so we're going to jump into the three rookie mistakes that people could do in 2024, being green, being rookie, being a beginner, okay? And these are mistakes that I've actually done myself. So I'm speaking from experience. It's not hearsay. So let's go ahead and get started. 